Some Pokemon have more than one option on what to evolve into. I'll talk about three that you can find in Opelucid. Cubchoo is a cute little guy who always has a runny nose. If the snot is sticky, Cubchoo is feeling well, but if it's watery, the Pokemon is sick. A healthy Cubchoo evolves into the fierce bear tick, with its snout freezing into solid ice and reinforcing its jaws. A sick Cubchoo, though, evolves into something different. The snout becomes a cloud of disease that overtakes its body, giving the Pokemon a perpetual discomfort. The virus takes over its brain, forcing it to spread the disease at all costs. When this Pokemon sees another living thing, all the bear can think to do is eat it or infect it. So, when a Cubchoo levels up to level 37 while poisoned, it evolves into Bear Sick. Bear Sick is an ice poison type Pokemon with the abilities Poison Point, Poison Touch, and hidden ability Swift Swim. It learns a move called Common Cold, which is a weak ice type move that always poisons its target. Bear Sick is pretty rare to see in the wild, but when it is, efforts are usually taken to neutralize it, usually by extermination. Bearsick is capable of poisoning an entire village, and has even been known to stalk and hunt lone humans. Anything that falls into the cloud near its body is vaporized and presumably consumed by the Pokemon. Unfortunately, Bearsick isn't quite as fierce when put up against other competitively viable Pokemon. Slow ice types are bad, and while Swift Swim could help it, it doesn't really make up for its middling offensive stats. Even if it had a strong typing, Bear Sick's defenses, especially physical, just aren't good enough, even with its great HP, to work well in OU. Maybe this Pokemon could be a strong wall in the lowest tiers that chips opponents down with poison, but it's more likely that people would run something offensive with Swift Swim. Whirlipede is a wheel-like Pokemon with a hard shell that can crash into opponents at high speeds. It prefers to stay still so it can store up the energy it needs to evolve. With no additional influence, it'll evolve into Scolipede, a fast and fierce Pokemon that attacks relentlessly. But if Whirlipede is given strict training at a certain dojo that tries to teach patience and planning to Pokemon, it will evolve into something different. Its legs fuse and curl to become almost like treads, and its head grows a big cannon. It can shoot all sorts of moves from this cannon, which evolve from a horn-like antenna. So when Whirlipede gets training from a specific dojo and hits level 30, it evolves into Artillipede. Artillipede is a bug poison type Pokemon with the abilities Mega Launcher, Swarm, and Speed Boost. It has a signature move called Chitin Cannon, which is a strong bug type special attack that slows down the user and hits the opponent on its physical defense. It's a big hard cannonball that's powered up by Mega Launcher. Artillipede is a trained warrior that fights with discipline. It's a slow and calculated fighter that does well fighting slow with a plan, but not so well against fast and powerful attackers. This also reflects in competitive battles. Artillipede has great hit-taking abilities, but not so great offense, so it can do well in a slow-paced fight thanks to its poison typing. While Bug brings it down for the Stealth Rock weakness, it's nice to not be weak to ground. Against Hyper Offense, it's not as great and its weaknesses get really accentuated. To be fair, it's really not that great either way, but maybe in lower tiers. Curter is a heavily built Pokemon that loves to carry around a metal beam. It uses it to train and demolish buildings, usually doing both at the same time. A girder with a knack for shiny things might do some things on the side though. It might pick up metal bits and bobs during demolition and keep them somewhere safe to admire them. Some trainers have found that girder are surprisingly good at helping out in other areas of work, especially welding. One girder gave its metal hoard to its trainer, who helped weld it into a sword and a set of armor. It seemed to be enough to simulate a new evolution. So a girder given a particular set of armor made from its steel beam will evolve into Sabe Scalibur. Sabe Scalloper is a fighting steel type Pokemon with the abilities Guts, Sheer Force, and Hidden Ability Sharpness. It learns a move called Beam Slice, which is a steel type physical attack with a high chance to crit, and it's powered by sharpness. Sabe Scalloper loves to train with its sword and will charge at opponents without fear. Its armor trivi trivializes attacks on its head and torso, but this Pokemon's short legs are vulnerable. Its stats are similar to Conkeldur, but it fights very differently. With sharpness, it can dominate with Sacred Sword and power up with Sword Stance. In that aspect, it hits harder than Conk, but it's certainly more predictable since most people would use that set compared to Conk's variable abilities and movesets, even if Saves gets the same ones. Hope that makes sense. But that's all I got for this video. Check out my Patreon, which you can subscribe to for just a dollar a month to support me and get your name at the end of my videos. Thanks Captain Kobop, Art of Dying, and Mr. Kill. In my next video, I'll make some cute little pre-evolutions. Hope to see you then, and thanks for watching!